welcome back to Plow and Pantry and to my mountain of groceries and household items here. Today I went to Knoxville, so I went to Trader Joe's and Costco, and then I also needed to go to Aldi. I don't normally go out there, but since I was out there and there was one close to Costco and my one I typically go to was in the opposite direction, I decided to go ahead and go to that one too. So we'll get through um, what I've got going on here. We'll start with Trader Joe's and I have Costco and then I have Aldi. And I think I somehow managed to buy avocado oil at all three places, which is totally fine because I was completely out and I need to restock. And that's one of the things I went into the pantry challenge knowing I needed to do was I was trying to stock on oil, but it's also a more expensive item as far as getting it built up enough for a long time. Anyways, let's get started with Trader Joe's over here. Okay, so right here is Trader Joe's. And we have, so I need some radishes and I got, I got them here and at Aldi. They're cheaper at Aldi, but I saw these tricolor ones and I thought they were fun. Um, I need radishes. I need a couple things I have here for two different experiments. I'm doing this week. Well, actually one's an experiment, one's a canning video. Um, but the tricolor ones, there's purple and red and white. And I thought it'd be fun to add those in to the fresh recipe I'm doing, not the canning recipe, just because I know with carrots, when you do a uh, purple or something, they tend to just dye the water. And I don't wanna do that. These chunks right here, Trader Joe's is the cheapest place to get them. And these cashews, are, I'm sending in a box to my son off in college. I got some tea tree oil. This is, um, I'm out of mine and it is, it's lasted me years. It's a cheaper place to get a good quality oil. Um, I got my daughter two of these um, frozen mac and cheese things. I usually get her one when I'm there, so I'll surprise her with a second. There are a couple convenience items because in the coming two months or so, there are some nights that my kids will come home and no one will be home and they have to make dinner, which they can do. Um, they know how to cook and everything, but they're usually coming home from practice and they're tired and want something quick. So one or two nights she can have one of those or she can reheat one and make it in her lunch. I got three bags of carrots. I had planned on getting these at Aldi. I was at Trader Joe's first though, and they had organic ones cheaper than Aldi's regular. So my regular grocery store, a bag of carrots like this is like three and a half dollars. It's insane. And at Aldi, they're like 130-ish, somewhere in there, 150. And these at Trader Joe's were a dollar. So um, I went ahead and got three of those because again, that's one of those things I need for two recipes this week. This was an impulse buy, teeny tiny cukes. Good snack. I always put a veggie tray out with dinner and I thought this would be a good addition to it. My favorite sour cream in the universe. I got two of them because I've been without it for a while. I have freeze dried one of these um, and it came out well. I have, when I was a kid, I hated sour cream. As an adult, I liked it as like a topping, like a little dollop on a taco or something. But this stuff I could eat with a spoon. It's awesome. A couple of green peppers. Uh, I don't have any I wanted fresh ones for rec again, recipes I'm trying this week. Two things of the organic free range chicken. This is for tomorrow's dinner. I'm doing some experimenting with something and I may share that with you in the future. I have some muffins hiding back here. These are gluten-free cinnamon coffee cake muffins. If you have not tried these and you're gluten-free and you have a Trader Joe's near you, try them. Heat them up in the microwave and just eat it like coffee cake. This is like a dessert, not a breakfast muffin. I think most muffins, though, were an excuse to have a cupcake for breakfast. I saw this Irish cheddar cheese with Irish whiskey. <laughs> that interested me, so I got it. I'm, all, I'm the person who's always buying cheeses just to snack on, so I got that to try. Chocolate croissants, one of my other daughters loves, and I thought this might be a good, like, Easter morning fun breakfast. I don't normally make breakfast on Sundays, but, it, you know, special occasion. Here's my avocado oil from this store bag of tortilla chips, um, just to make sure we don't run out. Uh, this is a, I don't buy a lot of bagged salads, but this broccoli kale slaw is one that most of the family likes, and we're gonna have this tonight with dinner. I'm making um, a paleo Mongolian beef and rice, and we'll have that with it. And then hiding back here, I have three boxes of the Trader Joe's Honey O's. These are like my kids' favorite cereal. We don't do a whole lot of cereal, so this three boxes should last us a couple months, but I only go to Trader Joe's every month or two, so I wanted to stock up. Okay, so here at Costco, we have, let's start with cheeses up here, a block of sharp cheddar. This is the two pound. I could not remember. I know it's cheap at Aldi and at Costco, and I can remember which is cheaper, so I got some at both places because we are out of the cheddar again. 
I got these. I saw somebody else with these, and um, it was one of those inspired by someone else on YouTube purchases. It is a, it's supposed to be a really good cheddar. They're already sliced, and I wanted to try those. They're easy to slice in this way if you want them for like a snacking tray or to put on a sandwich. Under here, I have some organic baby spinach. I do still have some dark greens from Aldi a week or two ago in my fridge, but they're almost out. And these are just, even with waste, these are cheaper than most stores. And it's organic. I have three bags of chocolate chips because we ran out at the end of the challenge and we used chocolate chips. Baby bells for snacking and lunches. And this is one of those convenience items for the girls making their own things. One of my daughters likes their um, nuggets, but they didn't have the nuggets, so I got for the tenderloins. We have some Simple Mills gluten-free crackers. I like these with a lot of things. My favorite lemon juice is almost, is well, I did use it all in a strawberry lemonade concentrate recipe that I will either link in an iCard or if it's not out yet, you'll have to wait for a day or two. Here's my avocado oil from Costco. We have a bag of lemons here. I am wanting to do an experiment. I've been experimenting for a few weeks with lemon cookies and I just can't get things as lemony as I want them. So I'm just gonna try to experiment with some freeze dried parts of lemons based on what different people say, a couple different ways and make lemon powder and see if that would help. Uh, my favorite dish tabs. Uh, some baking soda back here, both for gardening and cleaning. These little potatoes. So my daughter loves these little potatoes when I do stuff with them. And I usually don't get them because they're way more expensive than regular potatoes. But these were pretty cheap at Costco. So I went ahead and got those. I do have a 10-pound bag of sugar back here. I have gone through sugar a lot lately. I do still have some in the downstairs pantry, but not a ton. Then hiding in the back over here, I have uh, one of these things of butter. I have a lot of butter still left. I have done well in stocking butter, so I only bought one of those. I'm almost out of gallon freezer bags. I usually buy these when Costco has them on sale, and they're not on sale, but I needed this and the dish soap and the trash bags down here. Let me show you trash bags. Okay, paper towels. We're slowly using less and less paper towels, but um, I'm in that spring cleaning mode, and I know I'm gonna be going through more soon. I needed trash bags. These are my favorite for our taller kitchen. We have two trashes in the kitchen, a little one under the sink, and then the big one that we always like put our other small waste baskets in. And I love these, you guys. I live way out in the country. We don't have trash service. And so it's important to me when I'm taking a bag out to the trash can and from the trash can to the truck and from the truck to the dump that it doesn't break. And these don't break on me. They're a little large, but I, I find I always have other stuff sitting around I have to throw in there anyway, so it works well. And then these were at Costco, and I was so impressed. It's a two-pack of blueberries and O'Neill and a Legacy. I have had, I like my, I have a Legacy, I like it. Um, I don't, I've tasted O'Neill, but I don't remember it, but I don't remember hating it, so I must like it. It does have a good reputation, but these, the two-pack was like 13-something. Blueberry plants usually run between $12 and $20 per plant, depending on what kind you get and where you get it, so this was almost like a half-price and I am planting more blueberries this year. I already have two waiting to go in the ground, which I can just add these two to it because I definitely have room for four. And that, I'm pretty sure that is everything for Costco. All right, moving on to Aldi. Okay, right here in Aldi land, we have, I got two pounds of the grass-fed ground beef. They were five something, they were a good price. These are gonna go into the freezer. I'm not using them right away. I needed some onions. I have red onions right now, but not many white and yellow, and I needed them for, for recipes. So my Aldi does not carry these frozen biscuits, and I thought I would try them for those mornings that it would be good to make a breakfast sandwich, but I don't have time to make biscuits. I normally make our biscuits, but every now and then, you know. Some shredded lettuce for salad. Okay, some more. These are regular radishes. Some more of those for my thing along with the jalapenos are also for one of those videos coming up. Some blueberries, this is just for snacking for my youngest. A jug of vinegar, I am almost out of white vinegar. Um, I don't mind getting, some people are picky about their brand of vinegar but for canning, I don't mind. So long as it says 5% acidity, that is the industry standard. Um, so I look for that. We've got cilantro and green onion. Cilantro is for one of those canning recipes coming up. 
and two things of cucumber that are for a different recipe I kind of want to try along with the celery over there and cabbage that's a green cabbage I don't know what's going on in my area but green cabbage is not for sale very cheap and corned beef is around St. Patrick's Day corned beef used to be like 50 cents a pound and it's like six dollars a pound right now I don't know what's going on I'm not buying it I got some sliced cheese for sandwiches these are for everybody else I love Gouda I did get Aldi had um boneless skinless chicken breasts on sale for $2.49 a pound. That's a pretty good deal. This isn't like um, the organic free range I bought at Trader Joe's or anything. I'm going to get this in the canner today. I went through a lot of canned chicken during the pantry challenge and that's fine and I still have more. It wasn't because I didn't have chicken. I had chicken in the freezer. It was because we just needed a lot of quick meals and canned chicken and canned beef make for really quick meals. So I want to make sure because the next couple months are going to be crazy as well. I want to make sure I can do some quick meals and we're not having to eat out even more than we already are right now. Uh, I got some more of the extra sharp cheddar. I do like that they have extra sharp, not just sharp at Aldi. So I got four of these. These come out to just under $4 a pound, which is a really good price. Uh, and we're out of lunch meat completely. I got one turkey and one ham. I probably should have gotten two of each. We go through that kind of quick. I got one milk. It is in my area, the organic milk is way cheaper at Aldi than anywhere else over here okay so I have not tried these before I normally get fruit strips that have just fruit at Target I don't do Target very often that's one of the few things I still get there but this had clean ingredients um, and I decided to give it a try and see if the kids like it because it was a pretty good price too these are for my daughter's Easter baskets they're delicious we all love them don't tell them Shh. okay I did get a flat of creamy peanut butter because we are um, on our last we go through peanut butter pretty quick between sandwiches and they, it goes in our oatmeal cookie dough bake it goes in our breakfast cookies we it ends up in a lot of things and my husband's favorite cookies are peanut butter so I went ahead and bought a flat because I had a whole stock and now it's depleted I normally get the Trader Joe's ketchup when I don't have my own. I do have a couple jars left from last summer downstairs, but I'm gonna be running out in like a month. So I wanted to have one on hand and I've heard good things about the Aldi organic ketchup. So I thought I would just give, I bought just one to try. And then of course the Aldi olive oil. These were five something, so I grabbed two. And I'm wondering if I should have grabbed more. <laughs> they were cheaper per ounce, I believe, than even the large one at Costco, which Costco used to carry big ones. They were like this shape. They were bigger than this, but not that big. And they were um, a good deal. They don't have those anymore. And I hate using that one. It's hard for me to grip. So I had to buy, if you've seen any of my videos in the kitchen, I've got this green bottle next to the sink. That's for when I'm using that kind of oil. It goes over in the thing because I just can't deal with that. I That will fill my other green bottle like three times. I picked up these for um, tennis team snacks. Tennis team, the way they play is like four to eight at night, and so they don't eat while they're playing because they don't want to throw up with a tummy full or play with a tummy full. And so they eat snacks during the game, like between matches, and then I'll go out to eat afterwards for a very late dinner. And I got two things of decaf coffee. This cheap coffee K cups at Aldi are not my favorite, but I really need to stock these. I have a lot of caffeinated ones. I'm out of decaf. I've been drinking more of decaf. Um, so I just decided to go ahead and get the cheap ones. When I get cheap ones, I end up drinking with cream. If I have good coffee, I drink it black. It's still cheaper with the cream to get these. And just since I'm restocking from nothing, I will get, I will go ahead and buy the cheap ones. I have those little things that you refill so that you don't have to use a plastic K-cut in the machine. But my favorite decaf coffee, I can't seem to find in decaf right now. So I'm going to keep an eye out for that. And I would, I would just do that, but I can't do that. So that is the grocery haul. Tomorrow I am picking up Azure in the morning. So I will try to film that and I'll probably just tack it onto this and we will have the whole kit and caboodle. One thing I have realized in the last couple of uh, days since the pantry challenge ended is that one of the things I appreciated about the pantry challenge, what is not putting away groceries. I love grocery shopping. 
I don't like any other kind of shopping. I don't like to shop for clothes. I don't like to shop for decor. I love grocery shopping though. But when I get home, I hate putting it away. I hate dividing like what goes in the fridge, what goes out to the garage, what goes downstairs to the basement. I am very grateful to have those places and storage spots for my food. I'm grateful to have so much food. I just hate putting it away. Kind of like laundry. I don't mind doing laundry. I hate putting it away. So I kind of miss from the pantry challenge, like not really having much to put away because I got so little each week and it was pretty much going into the fridge or being used right away over here in the kitchen. If you want to see more of this type of content, let me know. This was your guys' request, the grocery challenge or gro the grocery haul. And I will be happy to share more with you in the future. And I will see you. I just got back from my Azure pickup and here is what I got today. Um, I got a lot of flour. <laughs> First of all, back here in the big bag, this is my bag of chicken food. I get that pretty much every month because it's the cheapest place to get it. I get the scratch and peck feeds. I like what's in it. I like the company um, and it's the least expensive place I have found to get it. It would be cheaper to make my own chicken feed with the same ingredients, but right now I don't have time for that in life. Um, this is a new thing to me. I got a box of frozen um, hash browns and I opened it because I wanted to see inside like what it was packed like it's all in a plastic thing. Um, mine, I like to use pre-done frozen hash browns for breakfast burritos and other frozen meals. And this is just, my grocery store has stopped carrying the ones I liked, which was the store brand. They're still on sale on the flyer, but they're not there and there's no spot for them. So it's weird. I'm not sure what's going on there. I decided to try Azure's and um, these are organic and they weren't that expensive compared to my grocery store ones that aren't. So I'm giving these a try, and those are gonna go out to my freezer. Um, I have a bag here of mustard. This is mustard powder, pound of it. I did, a while back, I did a video on how to make and can your own Dijon mustard. It was received very well, and so I thought you guys might like um, how to make and can your own yellow mustard. So I'm gonna do that with this sometime in the next couple weeks, probably for March Canning Madness. I do have a bunch of flour here, so I have these are the same right here. This is, they're just different size bags. Um, I got einkorn flour, all of this is einkorn flour. So this one and these three are the all-purpose flour from Jovio. If you are not familiar with einkorn flour, I did do a video of my three favorite einkorn recipes and why I use them and where I get my flour. And I can link that for you in an iCard. But I did, sometimes I just want a little bit, but I wanted a big one to store. So. That's what that one is. And then this one is the Azure brand, the, the unifying one that I talked about in that video, which is like a whole wheat einkorn flour. And then the last couple small things up here, I have one meat stick. I want, I bought this for my son. I'm gonna send it um, in, the, in his next package, his next care package. It's Thousand Hills. It's grazed grass-fed beef, sweet and spicy beef snack stick. He likes chopsticks, which I have in the box. I thought I'd let him try this. I just got one because we don't know if he likes it. I got a Nancy's grass-fed whole milk yogurt to try. I have yet to make my own yogurt. It's why I bought my Instant Pot years ago and I've never made yogurt in it. So I thought I would try it with this or at least part of the yogurt that I put in the starter as this. And then the two things I have up here are also new. These, this is a men's bar soap. I wanted to see if I liked the smell of it for my husband because I've been making a lot more soap and um, I wanted to play around with ones for him. So far I've made pretty girly scents. This is a goat's milk soap. I also wanted to know about that because I've heard goat's milk makes a really nice soap, but I haven't made it myself yet. This is Longview Farms Woodman's Bar is what it's called with goat's milk soap with a hint of pine needle. It is light but nice smelling. So we'll give that a try and see if he likes that. And then this is Desert Essence Lavender Tea Tree Deodorant. I like Desert Essence lotions and shampoo and conditioner. So I thought I would try their, their natural deodorant. It's a plastic free container. It's got one of those like cardboard push up things. So that's cool. And um, I have not made my own deodorant yet. So, you know, looking at scents and, and um, to figure out which ones I like and what's in them that I might like. So that is this month's Azure haul. Again, I don't make huge, gigantic thousand dollar ones, but this is what I have this month. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I will see you in the next one.